All right. So, um, today I, I got an R730 server, and I'm going to um, switch over my Unraid to that. Like right now, if I go over here to my dashboard, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm just running off of a regular consumer grade um, motherboard, which is fine. I'm talking about because all a server is is computer. Um, I just went with the R730 because I have an old R710. And I wanted something that would actually have the bigger bays. And for the particular case that I have this in, the bays are um, inside the case, so I got to take it apart to put in new drives. And I wanted something like a front load. And when I look at the cases, um, I could have just bought a brand new, well, not a brand new, but a used um, R730 for the price that I could get a case for front load. So I just went ahead and bought a whole new system. So to transfer this over, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go over here to my um, dockers, and then I'm just going to stop all my containers. And then once those are stopped, um, then <clears throat> I'm going to move on. All right, so now that everything's stopped, I can come over here to my VMs, and <clears throat> I don't have any VMs, which is fine. Then I'm going to go over here to settings. But if I did have VMs, I'd turn them off. But go to settings. Then from here, I have a Docker tab right here. So I click on Docker. And then um, enable Docker. And I'm going to hit no. And I'm just going to hit apply. So now that um, Docker is um, shut down. Then I'm going to go back to settings. Well, I can hit done here. <coughs> Excuse me. Go over here to be a manager. And same thing. Hit no. Hit apply. <coughs> and that would turn off our VM manager. And then um, hit done. And then that's pretty much it. So we're going to go back to our main here. And then. What we're just going to do is we're going to shut um, shut down the um, server. And then we're going to go downstairs and swap everything out. All right, so this is my new R730. And if you notice, right up here, I have the um, open bays where I can front load um, my hard drives in there. And then over here, this is my server I'm replacing it with right down here which is the consumer grade and like I said it doesn't have any front load bays in there and to buy a new case it was just cost me just as much as the Evans R730 did so I just went ahead and bought that um, so let's rip this out of here okay so now that I have this case out this is the back of it so I'm just gonna pull out the Unraid thumb drive and I'm going to go over here to my R730. And what we notice, if we go around this side, we have a USB right here on the inside. So we don't have to worry about the dongle being hanging out. All right. So we can tell that the um, dongle is in place now. And also, while I'm back here, <clears> another <throat> thing I want to point out is on this back side, side I have two bays here for like um, 2.5 drives. And that's like fed in by using this back plane that's like right here. All right, so now um, I'm gonna take this apart, get the drives out. Um, I'm gonna miss my little cutout air cooler here. Um, it's gonna put an air scoop in it, but since I'm replacing it, it's not a big deal anymore. Yeah, and as we um, look inside this old case, you know, we'll see here's the drives. And then I got some drives um, down over here. And just, you know, replacing drives, making new ones, it's just complicated taking it off and then having to take off this mount and everything to get to the screws on the other side. Um, just not very um, friendly. So the R730 is going to fix that. 
All right, so here's a better look at the drives outside. So, you know, I have the two screws up there. I got the screws over here. And then I had to take this whole module out to get to these four drives because I got two SSDs underneath. Um, so you see drive maintenance and messing with them, putting new ones in. It's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, so we got it all out of the case. We got the drives out. So now um, let's put the caddies on. All right, so <clears throat> I got all my caddies. <clears throat> so all I got to do is just pop them in these drives. All right, so we got everything hooked up. So let's go ahead and power this bad boy on. I'll go up here and look at the screen. Just power everything up. All right, so we'll hit F2 for system setup. All right, so now that you hit F2 and you're in your um, system setup, go to the system BIOS. And what you want to do here is I want to go to SATA settings and I want to make sure that we're in ACHI mode. So we're good there. So we'll go ahead and exit out. Go back. Now I want to go down to our device settings. And what we want to do here is we want to go into our RAID. And we want to go to physical disk management. And we want to make sure that we have all our drives in here, which we do. Throw out a non-RAID settings. I don't want this one boot bootable. But I'll fix that later. So what I want to do is I want to go to configuration management. I'm sorry, let's go back. Controller management. And then right here is where I can change this from physical <coughs> boot. To none. And then I want to go to advanced controller management. And this is already in HBA mode. If not, this right here, which says switch to RAID, it'll say switch to HBA. And you want to make sure for our setup that it's set to HBA. So now that everything's set up, right? We can actually just go back and we can just finish this. And it'll just reboot um, into Unraid. All right, so I went ahead and logged back into Unraid after I switched everything out. And if you notice, my parity drives and my disks, <coughs> they're all reading normals. I don't have anything missing. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit the, um, start button, start everything back up. All right. So now that everything's stopped back up, I'll have to go back to my settings and I'll have to go to my Docker and I got to turn my Docker on, hit apply. And that's going to let my Docker, um, start back up. All right. Now I hit done. I go to my VM manager and I'll hit yes and I'll go ahead and hit apply and I'll just start my VMs um, don't have any but <clears throat> if I did it just when I create a VM next time I won't have to go and enable it it's already enabled <clears throat> so go ahead and hit done and then um, we'll go back to hit my docker some of these should <clears throat> be starting up because I already had them, um, had them like auto start, so <clears throat> they're all started, so we should be good to go. All right, so now that I got my Docker contains all started, I can go back here to my dashboard, <clears throat> and if you notice, it now the Dell, and I got a whole bunch more cores, and I got the 128 gig of memory, so. Everything's up and running as it should, so transfer is complete with um, no issues.